everyone. Today I'll walk you through the steps for converting a CSV file to JSON in Power Automate. As a reminder, this will work the same way in Azure Logic Apps. To perform this flow, we will be using a Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector. To start our flow, go to the Create tab on the left-hand side in Power Automate and choose Instant Flow. This will let you trigger the function manually, which is what we want. Now, click on the Manually Trigger a Flow option and press Create. Now that we've reached the Flow page, we can start putting together our function. Click New Step to input your source file. Like in all of our videos, you can choose from whichever file source you prefer. I'm going to be using OneDrive in this video. Once you've chosen your file input action, you can retrieve the source file. For this function, you'll need to choose the CSV file that you want to convert. After this, we will add another step using a Cloudmersive document conversion connector, which is the connector with the green Cloudmersive logo. Here, you will be shown a list of possible document conversion actions. We will pick the Convert CSV to JSON conversion action. If you've never used a Cloudmersive connector before, you will be prompted to input your API key now. This is free on the Cloudmersive website without commitment, and once you've input it here, you won't be asked for it again. Now, add your file content as the input file and name it whatever you'd like. I'm naming mine testinput.csv. Adding our final step, we will choose the Create File option for your preferred file drive. Select the desired folder path and input a name for your output file. Make sure the name ends with .json. Because of an issue in how Power Automate handles types, to reference the JSON output of the Cloudmersive connector, we need to use an expression. This can be found in the video description below for you to copy and paste into your flow. Now that we've finished all of the input steps, we can run our flow. Click on Test in the upper right corner, then choose the option for performing the trigger action manually and press Test. Then we can click Continue and Run Flow, which will trigger the flow for us. Here, you'll be informed if the flow is successful or not. And after clicking Done, you'll see green check marks next to all of the connectors showing that the flow worked. Sometimes it takes a second or two for all of the check marks to appear, so don't stress if that happens to you. If your flow doesn't work for some reason, check to make sure your original input file was valid for the connector, meaning it was a .csv, and that the names you chose for your files throughout the flow were followed by their file type, i.e. .csv and .json. Now you can check your chosen folder for your newly converted JSON. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to check back in for more tutorials and tips on using Cloudmersive connectors in Power Automate.